Welcome back to the 130 Women Gallery. It's time to take a, a long drive, Nullarbor direction, and uh, get out on some station country. Uh, stations are not just men's business, that's for sure. There are women who make life possible on the land. So we have picked none other to tribute that than the incredible Jill Campbell from Kaibo Station. So let's get to know Jill. Jill has an absolute passion for the land. Jill is one of our 130 women who is still living. She's come to the exhibition. Um, she's incredibly humbled to be part of the exhibition. What Jill is representing is women of the land and I have never met a woman who loves the land as much as her husband and her um, remote living before ever. So she's um, such a character. She, she grew up travelling Australia and then she settled at Cocklebiddy with her family. And then when she grew up and fell in love with her husband, they moved and took on... Kaibo Station when it was gazetted and released as a new station. And one of the ways that they funded what they needed to do at their station, they actually went and worked. They put in thousands of kilometres of goldfields fences. They fenced the stations. They fenced the dust abatement areas. Um, lots of work. So Jill would be out um, fencing living remotely, living in the caravan, doing the hard work on the fences, but then also, of course, making sure that everyone was fed and washed and cleaned because a woman's work's never done, really, is it? We all know that. So let's have a look at our artworks for Jill. We have this one here, Heart of Kaibo, little sculptural piece by K.A. Fiber Art. So you can see here the heart, the heart in the middle of the horns there. And the ribs encapsulating the horns. Heart of Kaibo, really cool um, rustic sculptural piece. This one here, something a bit softer from Linda Ray, but we've thrown the barbed wire in for good measure. This is actually taken from, so Jill is a writer She's done a lot of publishing books, uh, especially with a combination of poetry of hers and other people from the land. You wouldn't understand the men who live and love out there. That's a line from one of Jill's poems that has inspired this artwork by Linda Ray. This one, there. so there's a sneaky little story about Jill. Jill is tiny, by the way. Absolutely tiny, delicate, petite little thing. As I said, works very hard getting the job done. It's a Michelle Warren, done with pencil. Incredibly finely with pencil. The um, caliber of Michelle's work is incredible. And this is her, there's a story about Jill shearing a sheep. Oh my gosh, she's lost his fur. Uh, wool <laughs> in a dress. So here's Jill in her dress shearing her sheep. This one was sold at um, at the live auction. Sorry guys, already gone. Now this one here is a live portrait that was done when we interviewed Jill. Linda Ray painted Jill while she spoke to our writer SJ about her life and we gathered her story. When you sit down here and have a listen. You will hear Jill speaking as she was when we um, did the interview. This one here, Kaibo Country, an exquisite oil by Mel Taylor. Look at the details in there, the highlights, the sun shining on the grasses. You can see exactly why Jill would be so in love with the land out there. That's her life. 
That's her view. That's why Jill loves the station. Now over here, this little bit of Goldfields fence is actually also available for sale in the silent auction. So we are raising funds for the Nullarbor Muster. The Nullarbor Muster actually gives to the needs of people on the stations, um, making sure that they have the services required, whatever is the most important um, thing at the time. So we also have here Ode to the Nullarbor Muster. which has been, um, this is a bit of pyrography here. And it's all been taken, you get a double You get a double one with this. You get the hat, Ode to the Nullarbor Master, and then you also get the Nullarbor Master book to go with it, about all the memories of Nullarbor Master. It is the, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it's the 40th anniversary this year, 30th maybe? So Jill was, I think, the very first secretary of Nullarbor Muster. Something very dear and important to her. And so we're giving all the funds to Nullarbor Muster. If you want to get hold of some great railway sleepers, they will also contribute funds to the Nullarbor Muster. We have a donation of a collection of Jill's books here. She's published all of these books. Some of it's poetry, some of it's history of the Nullarbor Plain. Uh, history of Cocklebiddy. So Carboy Station is about 800 k's inland from Kalgoorlie, down the trans line. Um, and so you can put a bid on this collection of books. You can also find these books individually for sale at the Historical Society, who have helped us out a lot. So bids are going hot in here. Heart of Kaibo is up to 300 you wouldn't understand is up to 300. Ode to the muster, 150. That's Jill who's got her money on that one. We kind of want to make sure Jill ends up with that one because it's very special to her. Her collection of books is going for $175 to fundraise for the Nullarbor muster. $100 on the sleepers, excellent. And the Goldfields fence, if you want to get your hands on this superb Goldfields fence, um, we might be able to discuss a price for installation. We'll see. <laughs> um, that one there's also, it's nice wood, really lovely wood, really hard wood. Um, if you want that for a little garden for each day, you can raise funds for the Nullarbor Muster. So, that's, that's Jill. Jill is absolutely adorable. And um, it was such a pleasure to meet her and get to know what made her tick and she was the absolute perfect pick for someone to represent what a pastoralist woman's life is about um, her love for the land absolutely incredible see you in the 130 women gallery soon we are open from wednesday till sunday 10 a.m till 2 p.m and our last day is on the 6th of april see you soon